have been told in about 10 or 20 percent of cases. Um, and I, I, it's a similar principle. I'm going to push opposite that joint, though, but it's just a bigger grip. Right? You see how, and again, I'm coming from here. There's only one joint here, so there's only one, you know. But I'm not pushing down like that. I'm pushing here. Where's your thumb? Is it like opposite under, here? Uh, opposite there. Okay. So yeah. Mm. And it's not going. No. As I say, tricky one to get. Even for me, I only get that very occasionally. You got to get your angles right. No, not going to go. That's fine. Anyway, that's one good technique to click the toes. The other one is simply grabbing below the nail bed. See here, I'm not on his nail, mm -hmm. right? Don't be on the nail, and then pulling. And many times people will have slippery feet or oily or greasy feet. You use a, um, a towel or cloth. Mm -hmm. To get the top joint, you actually got to get a very uh, high up grip and pull. The same as here. So when we do our own fingers, we can grab like that yeah. and pull. Yeah. See, and I can get both those joints, right? Both. Yeah. If I want to get this one, I have to get a slightly more, uh, if for me it's a bit, because i got big hands. There, I got it. Got it. So when you bend the toe backwards from the bottom, yep. that's doing a different click to the one you're getting from the beneath the nail bed. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. You different. Both. Yeah, you can do both. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So those are the adjustments. I'll show you a couple other adjustments on the, the feet as well that are important that you may not already know. But I'll quickly show you how to really get the. Um... Brandon, can you do one toe adjustment the first time? I don't think any are going to go because I think I got them all. Yeah, they already went. So, but that's the technique. So you, you could do it like that. See how I was doing it like that this time. Either way, I'm still pushing out. Okay, so whatever way I'm going to do that, I'm pushing out and then I'm coming down. So there's the two forces there. There's yeah, up two forces. Yeah. <coughs> controlled. Very controlled. Very controlled and not forced. If it's not going to go, it's, don't force it because that's how you could break a toe. Don't get, uh, gotta get the click. If you're not getting the click, it's either not going because it's already in or it's too tight all through the toes. You know, and then so you've got to loosen those toes up. So you could do that later after you've loosened the toe up, then come back and do it again. Okay. So now I want to just really tune in again to what you guys were asking me um, in regards to um, understanding how to do the techniques here. Okay. So one thing I think I was mentioning to you is that Okay, because you were asking about, like, say, this area, is that right? Yeah. And then, because you, you can feel how tight people are here, yeah. but you can't feel shit through here, right. right? And the same with a lot of this area, right? You can actually, most of you guys should be able to feel tension in here. Whoops, sorry. Again, oh. you're, you like to, you know, it's for, right? You can, I can feel that. Mm -hmm. Physically, I can feel that. Uh, yeah. And you can feel that too, can't yeah. you? Yeah. Um, the same with here, you can't feel much here, but you can pick up, anybody can pick up where this tendon, you can see that tendon there, right? Mm -hmm. You can see it, you can see it, you can see it, you can kind of feel it, you can sort of feel it, you can't feel it. Okay? Same with here. You can feel it easy, he can certainly feel it, but even, you know, we can feel it physically here. We can sort of feel it here we don't feel shit through here, okay? So when you're beginning, you use where you can start to feel as an indicator of tightness because we can't feel this area here or here. It's just like, unless you're tuned in energetically, mm -hmm. you're like, what the fuck's going on? Oh, sorry for the camera. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't understand what's going on, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, so all this kind of stuff can be like really difficult for beginners to, to really understand because it's like, did I loosen it? So what you use as your indicator for did I loosen it, say we're wanting to work on this band, <coughs> is you use your first area that you can feel, which is usually just above the joint there, right? So oh, we can physically feel this, not just energetically, but physically as the band, right? Mm -hmm. So then I can go, well, if I keep working this, does it let go or not? Oh. That's a skill in itself think, think, to feel that, is it letting go? Mm -hmm. Sometimes he might go yes or no. If not, 
It's held. Mm -hmm. okay. oh. Further up. Further up. But so you're approaching it, but like I said, so you're kind of like uh, like flicking over the band, you, you, and then and then you find the right point, and that's when you sort of apply the most pressure, like. Because you're, are you testing now? Testing. Or you're like, okay, testing okay. and diagnosing and seeing. This, I'm sort of showing how you guys as beginners can think about this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you could come into where you can actually oh. feel it. Mm -hmm. Right? And you can go, is what I'm doing loosening? I can feel this band physically. Okay? Mm -hmm. Is what I'm doing actually effective or not? Mm -hmm. If you're having trouble, you could follow the band up into another sort of diagnostic spot. Like here, is that letting go or is that not? Mm -hmm. I could try and force it. If I force it, it might bruise him. It might just make him really sore. Mm -hmm. So I want to be as sensitive as possible to is that letting go or not. Mm -hmm. And this is our first point that we can really, you know, is the bottom of the line that we can feel. Mm -hmm. But it's not the bottom of the line where it's coming from. We just can't feel it through here mm -hmm. as beginners. Okay? But it's there. He'll feel it. Mm -hmm. So the tricky part is, is doing this area between here and where we can actually physically feel and knowing what is it that we're doing, mm -hmm. okay? Obviously, we want to develop that ability to feel that subtle energy mm -hmm. and know and sense it. Mm -hmm. That's a very, very fine art, and many of you probably don't have that yet, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, that took me years. So... so in the meantime, and this is how I actually came up with understanding this whole area that took me so many years to figure out why I think, you know, is come to the point that you can first feel physically. And if what you're doing does not let it go, you know it's held either, there's many points here. It could be held here. It could be held here. It could be held here. Anywhere between here and here. Mm -hmm. So your first one would be here. And there you're just applying pressure and you're doing a small... Right, I'm, not, I'm doing a small area. Sometimes I'm just letting him breathe into it, tap into it. Mm -hmm. As long as he's not pulling his foot away. It, even if I can't sense, I can sense that it is. But if I couldn't, something's going on. Mm -hmm. Right? Let's just stay with it for a little while because that's not quite letting go fully. Mm -hmm. Okay? Can, you know, you can sense he's going through something, even if you can't feel it, right? What's the longest time you spent on something like that, Brandon? Can't remember. Okay. I've come back and forth to it, you know. Yeah. So once it's released from you, yeah. the pain... Yeah, the pain won't be there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why you know this hasn't released. That's right. Yeah. You can see how painful it is for him. But you can also feel it. It doesn't feel like it's letting go. And he'll feel it as a, so I have a lot of people fuck around on my feet and I know they don't know what they're doing because they're trying to force it out and it just starts to annoy me. Mm -hmm. It's a pain that becomes annoying because somebody's trying to get in there and he's like, that's not fucking letting go, right? Mm -hmm. Stop it kind of thing because it's not helping, you're hurting me, you know? Mm -hmm. You ever had that with people working on you and it's like, mm -hmm. you know? That's also a symptom of the fact that you haven't come into here. So it's just, we have great difficulty feeling through here, but there's a whole lot going on. Mm -hmm. It's a huge area to explore, even though it's so tiny. Mm -hmm. So don't get the, you know, thing in your head that it's, you know, big areas are more important. This is huge. Think about it as, you know, in that way. And then, so I can give him a rest, and then I, can, I could even come back in and see, is it as charged? No, I feel like there's still a little bit in there. But, you know, if you guys can't feel that, well, if you're going to fuck around, fuck around between here and here, not knowing what you're doing and, and getting all those spots. But also look for the symptoms, because mm -hmm. it's quite intense. Then I could come to the oh, next spot. Fuck. Fuck. And you can see he's still got a certain oh, sense of, fuck. we could call it awareness, ah. mm -hmm. feeling. Oh. Because he's making these comments that there's a certain uh, sense of awareness there. Mm -hmm. So I'm bringing awareness to something where he's charged. That's what I call it. He's charged with whatever. And in fact, he's almost oh. breaking into a cold sweat. Oh. Just, oh. Or another towel might come in nice. <laughs> oh. Do you want 
again, you keep holding it there until his breathing, until he can't take any more, or no? Or it, it dissipates. It's yeah. like it's oh. like a, a charge. Or I just want to give him a rest. Mm -hmm. Two things I hold it until. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes he just needs a little break. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's just. You know, because he's breaking into a cold sweat, so I get a better grip. Plus, I'm not, you know, grabbing cold sweat. The feet's not the most pleasant thing in the world. And then I could, I could either come back and do it again, but I think, you know, even if I've taken 20% off, that's good. So it's not always 100% looser. It's, it's layers sometimes, like I strip off a layer, mm -hmm. you know? So then I can again, but then I watch his breathing. See, we've stirred up a lot. I don't necessarily want to add to that because if I add more to, for him to process, that's going to make him hyperventilate. Mm -hmm. So even though it looks like I've hardly done anything, I've, done, <coughs> I've actually done a lot. That's how important this area is. So pay attention to the, 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 uh, the macro, you know, the big picture, which is him breathing, how is he handling it, and let him process that. Then I could decide, do I need to come and do assisted belly breathing, or do I need to come in and do his head again? Or perhaps I need to come in with a towel and do his hands, because so much energy is moving from just that. It's also, I know that stuff's moving. Mm -hmm. But so don't get just focused on the micro. If we look at even the micro as being from here to here, that's my goal, but I'm also, this, that's, that's, because that's anchoring so much in him, we're paying attention to that, okay? And we're really going, and, and what I'm really thinking of is, you know, do I need to get up off my seat and start doing some assisted belly breathing, mm -hmm. even though I'm comfortable here? <laughs> oh, shit, do I have to get up? You know? No, that's what I'm actually thinking. Uh, but I'm hoping that, I, you know, we don't, but I think I do. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> that was a very selfish thought. <laughs> And I like to do the neck cracking, which is done like this. I have my hand in front of his ear and my hand behind his ear and his head up while he's deep breathing. Nice and straight, getting him to breathe. As he breathes out, I turn the head to the side. And at the end of an out breath, I turn it back. And at the end of the out breath, I just do a, a movement like that. Okay? That again is going to open up because so much energy has been moved from the working of those two points on his toe that it needs to come out. Otherwise it was jamming and he was starting to, his breath was, he wasn't handling it. Cracking the neck opens that flow up. So it's gonna flow out, okay? But also head massage can do that too, all right? Especially, like I say, with a towel. We've got so much energy moving from those two points. All right, we let him breathe. Then we do the other side. When we do the other side, Hand in front of the ear, hand in back of the ear. Never put your face in their breath stream, otherwise it's like breathing in shit, okay? I get it, I lift his head up, wait for the out breath. This would all be done in one movement if I wasn't showing you, okay? I'm gonna do it in several. I bring his head to a natural full twist. Uh, no, no, not a twist, a sideways stretch. He breathes in, on the out breath. Has to be loose. It has to be loose. So what am I doing at first? I'm feeling, has he given me his neck? Mm -hmm. Has he gone, yes, you can have it, I trust you. Mm -hmm. Necks have a hell of a lot to do with trust. Yeah. Okay. He, I'm like, yep, he's given me his neck. That's what I, you're end of the, end, I, end of the out breath. So I, I go with the out breath. End of the out breath, all I do is a little movement. Okay? That's how I do neck cracking. I personally feel it's very safe, except in certain cases with people who have had strokes. Neck 
certain uh, neck operations and things like that. We'll cover all those contraindications in a minute. What about whiplash injuries? And whiplash <coughs> injuries, I wouldn't do it. Yeah. Blood clots as well. Blood clots, yeah. Osteoporosis, yeah, I wouldn't do it. Very elderly people, I'd yeah. be very careful. We've got very fused vertebrae and things like that. Uh, send them to a specialist for that. All right, but you can see, you know, that felt good, didn't it? Yeah. Okay, so then I come back, and this is how I, I do it. You know, maybe I started with the head, and then I come back and I make a little bit more progress. Where did I say I spent 70% of my time? Those. Not just the toes, actually between, because <laughs> actually between here and here. Because here is easy, actually. If you've done a good job here, here is easy, because you can easily feel it. Because if you've got this to let go, this will just go easy. And if that lets go, this will be easy. This is the hard part. And notice how intense it is, okay? So then I wait, wait, wait and see if he, wait until he's ready to process more. <coughs> and then I proceed. So I gotta be patient. Uh, the breath dictates how much I can do. And then I slowly get ready, I'm watching him. Don't have to do anything while he's breathing. You know, I could, I could make contact with him, I could not, or I could do a bit of general shaking, but right now I just watch him. I could always verbally communicate with him and check, how you feeling? Good. Just to, you know, touch base, make sure. Then I continue. Still watching that breath, I'm only just getting there. And then I go to the next spot. I feel this one's pretty charged. and the micro, okay? This is stirring up a lot. And then, as I see that he can handle a little bit more, I add 20, 10 or 20%. And then I change my angle ever so slightly and give it a little shake. And then I let him absorb that, because I know that was intense. So I let him process and I watch. And I think, do I need to come up and do assisted belly breathing? Or is he doing it okay? Is the shit moving, basically? Is it flowing? If it's not flowing, why not? Where's the jam, right? Is the jam in the belly? Is the jam in the neck? Because the neck jams a lot. And the mind, or is it in the mind? Is it in the third eye? Is it in the controlling mechanism? Is it in, in him kind of been holding back some emotion for so long that he's so hesitant to let it go, and, and is the mind fighting the release? Right now, I'm just watching, it's all right. It's coming out. Plus we've opened up his neck a bit. Considering the points in the eyebrow is how I'm thinking right now, because I haven't done them. And I'm thinking, are they jamming? So I'm watching the flow. That's right, that's right. So that's sort of where I'm thinking. Let's open those brows up a bit, right? And definitely I've pushed energy to his head. I mean, look at that. Look at the, look at the, the lines now. So that's where it's congesting. But do I want to do that with my hands? No, Not really. We can always use this towel and just use a different part than we were 